So, hi guys. Let's have a look at how to colour a black and white image in Affinity Photo for iPad. An Affinity Photo iPad tutorial. Now you can see I've got that image there from Unsplash. Just a black and white image of a girl smoking a cigar. Very nice. Okay, let's get right to it. Open your black and white image in Affinity Photo for iPad. Hopefully you are by now familiar with the iPad menu. As you're aware, it's quite different to the desktop version. Some things are a little more difficult to find than others. So in this tutorial, I'll use lots of screen grabs. I'll start with the first one with my image loaded. You'll find the image link in the description. I misspelled will and it's turned out to be wiki. Good old um, iPad auto changing things. But it's in the Facebooks group. Um, under share and it's that one there. You'll find the image there. You'll also find it on Unsplash. Next, this is a clean slate so let's get right started. Today we're going to take this beautiful black and white photo and bring back its colour. And the first thing to do now is to set the first recolor. We're going to use the Adjustment Studio a lot in this. Tap the option with the three dots in the square. That's the Adjustment Studio. Next, we're going to apply an adjustment to the image <coughs> to change it. Toggle the Adjustment Studio list mode so it looks like this. You've got the, the pictures, not the words. We're going to select Recolor in a moment. This will bring up the menu you see here. There'll be a list of options of image adjustment types. Scroll down until you see the recolor one and select it by tapping on it. Your image will change to look like this. Notice the arrows I've got everywhere pointing to the color studio, <coughs> excuse me, the color studio option, the adjustment studio, the hue control and the saturation control. They're our main components that we'll be using. Now, let's do the hue first. The hue and saturation are how you control the working colour of your image. The colour studio, the white dot at the top, is not used in this part. It's used later though. Not yet highlighted with an arrow is the layer studio. You'll also be using that. Now to set the hue and saturation, you've got recolour, your image has changed to red. You can set the hue in two ways, either tap the hue icon and set a number into the little calculator type pop-up or scroll your finger or pen gently up or down within and near the hue icon. Watching the hue change as you do so. So we'll set it first. At the moment it's zero. Now I've set it to 222. We don't want the colour to be that saturated as it's really only the background colour in the end. So we need to desaturate it using the same control method as we used for the hue. Applied to the background, not on top of the girl. So we're going to select our brush and then paint in black to remove this blue from the girl. That will make sense in a moment. So set the hue to 222 and set the saturation to about 25. Again, you will see the overall image color change as you scroll the circle controls. And next, we want to colour the person's skin. Select the paintbrush and with it selected, your colour dot will change to black. Now you can colour the person by swiping your finger or pen with a suitable size pen point over the person. Begin painting in black over her to remove the blue. Do not paint her lips or any other part you want to recolor differently. You can see the changes as I go. I've set my brush size to about 115. You don't need a massive size brush, but remember to pinch in and out on the iPad so that you can see if you miss any patches. Now you've still got one layer there, one recolor layer. Remember, do not paint her lips or any other part you want to recolor differently. 
Now let's bring some colour back into her hair. So select the layers and then the background layer, which I'm pointing to there. That's the original background layer. So we can position the next recolor layer correctly. And you can see it here. An important step. Don't forget it. When you want a new layer, select the background first. And when you want a new recolor layer, select the background layer first. And the recolor layer will stack on top of it. So you've done one recolor, that's where you've changed the first one, and that's that layer just above it. Then go back to the Adjustment Studio and select another recolor adjustment. In other words, select recolor and just tap it. And only the face and hair now changes to the recolor color, which is that reddish color. You can immediately see any patches you've left. So you can see immediately right near where the smoke's coming out of her mouth is a patch I've missed. To fix them, step back with the history arrows and make your repairs. For this recolor, make it some sort of a yellow or brown, somewhere around a nice hair colour to suit your image and a little less saturated. And then, instead of painting in black to remove it, from all the rest of the picture, we're going to invert our mask by firstly selecting the Channel Studio and within the pop-up, select the three dots next to the recolor adjustment layer as shown. Now that's a tricky step, that one. You may have to go back and do it again. Then select invert, invert the mask, and the image reverts to the original for that layer. Amazing. Okay, you can see the two recolor layers in the image. The first layer you did is now at the top, and the next one you're working on is there where the arrow's pointing it to, to it. And that's the inverted mask. So the recolor is applied to nothing right now. But if we paint in white, we can bring that colour back in. So I'll just flip these colours black to white. Check that you have set the hue and saturation correctly for the hair colour. And you can see I've got 20.7 and 66. And we're going to paint in white over the top of her hair. Select the brush, then flip the black to white, remember? So you've got that layer and a white dot and your brush selected. With white now selected and the brush enabled, we can paint. Okay, you've got the idea. I have the brush size set to a reasonable size. It's about 115. And you paint over that, and there's the hair showing through. Very nice. Select the layers and highlight the background layer again. We're going to do the skin tones this time. You've got two layers there already. Select the Adjustment Studio and apply a recolor. And the face will now show as you see here with the recolor in red again. And of course you can immediately see any places you've missed. Invert your recolor layer the same as you did previously. This leaves the face the original black and white. Set your hue and saturation. I'm making this a desaturated orangey brown. Then select the brush and paint the skin tones, still keeping the white colour dot. If at any time you want to change the colour, just double click on your adjustment layer and then you can change the colour. The hue is 27 and the saturation is 49 for this one. So that's as far as I need go with this exercise really. I don't want it to drag out. So it's time for a note of caution. When you're colouring an object or a photograph, you must really be careful to only colour the part you want coloured for that step. For example, if you coloured the lips in the previous steps with the face skin colour, you will not be able to recolour them in this step. The same applies to eyes, objects, earrings, cigars, any component really of the image. 
So it's all about that recolor layer and being very careful what you do. Now remember, if I can just repeat, there was one step there where you inverted things. That's because the whole image changed to the color and you inverted it to get rid of it. Then you paint in white to bring back just the bit you want. That's a secret. Okay, that's it, I think. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Click on the thumbs up for a like and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. And as I say, I really appreciate your subscription.